Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another full face of nothing new which is a series that I do on my channel where I sit down and film with no new products. We're not talking about new launches. This is not a review of any sort. And in today's episode of full face of nothing new, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing an everyday makeup look. And the thing that inspired this was actually traveling because as you're watching this, I'm on vacation. I'm not on vacation right now, clearly, because I'm filming in my studio. But when you see this, I'll be on vacation and I really just just wanted to sit down and show you guys a typical travel or everyday routine when I leave. So these are all very tried and true products. These are things that I really love to wear on travel days specifically. I just feel like they look really nice on the skin. They make my complexion look really healthy. Nothing breaks me out. These are just honestly tried and true products. I also have an entire lineup of lip products that I love to travel with, so we'll get into that at the end. But let's just go ahead and get started. It seems like every time I do my makeup when I travel, I like to use this underneath. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. This is a sunscreen and a primer, and it also protects against pollution and blue light, which when you're traveling, you know, you kind of have a lot of. When you're watching videos on your screen and you're on an airplane and there's just like gross air circulating. And then also there's sunshine as you're traveling, so you always wanna make sure to wear SPF. I always wear SPF every single day. But this is just a good one and done kind of a primer and I always reach for it when I'm traveling. So I just like to kind of warm it up in my complexion first, and you'll see that it has <laughs> quite a bit of a white cast. This goes away on me once I blend it into the skin, so don't be alarmed. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers to apply it. This is the best way that I found to apply this, since it does have that sunscreen. I feel like if anything has zinc in it, I usually love to warm it up with my hands and apply it that way. I feel like it helps absorb the product into the skin a little bit better. Since my ears are showing today, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that onto the ears as well. And then I like to really go in and press this into the skin just to make sure that the sunscreen is really, really absorbed. I'm a sunscreen freak, so I like to make sure that it's nice and pressed into the skin just for maximum protection, you know? Okay, so as you can see, that gives a really nice glowy finish to the skin. When I travel, it's kind of hard to find a balance between making sure your skin is protected and hydrated, but also not overly hydrated because for some reason, when I go on airplanes or when I travel, my skin gets really oily. But I'm also aware that when you're on an airplane or when you're traveling, a lot of times, especially on the airplane, it just sucks out the life in your skin and you lose a lot of moisture. So I feel like this primer is a good balance. It gives me glowiness. It also is pretty hydrated but it's not greasy, which I really love. To even out the complexion, I'm gonna be using the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation from Wander Beauty. This is a go-to for when I travel. First of all, the packaging is really travel friendly, but also it just lasts really well on my skin. Um, I wear the shade Fair Light. I know some people don't really wear too much makeup when they go on airplanes. I do. I wear makeup, definitely. I just feel like I feel a little bit more put together. Obviously, I like to do more of an everyday routine, which is what I'm showing you guys today. So I've got that all over the skin and I'm just gonna take a brush and start to blend this out all over the complexion. If you have a favorite BB cream or CC cream, I do tend to wear those often too when I travel, just because you get skin benefits, but you also usually get a sunscreen mixed in that and you get coverage as well. So those kinds of products are usually what I reach for when I travel. I just wanted to show you guys this specific routine because I usually do pack this foundation when I travel. And it's nice because you can build it up to be a little bit more of a full coverage foundation, which is gonna be great for like evenings if you're going out. Okay, hold that thought. <laughs> okay, I just tried to blend that out with a sponge and it took up some coverage. So I'm just taking a little bit of some product onto the sponge and I added a little bit more right there. And I'm just gonna blend this out with a sponge. But anyways, what I was saying was, I like traveling with a foundation like this because I don't always wear CC creams out and about at night. And this is a product where I can layer it up over top of the sunscreen for daytime and just kind of sheer it out a little bit. Or if I'm going out at night, wherever I'm traveling to, I can layer it up and I can make a really nice glamorous look. It also looks nice in photography. And since there's no sunscreen in here, you're not gonna have any flashback or anything like that. So I kind of prefer sometimes if I wanna pack light to travel with something that you can kind of use in both situations. Okay, next I'm gonna use my favorite concealer. This is something I always travel with. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And I'm gonna use the shade 1N. 
and I'm gonna use a bit of this to brighten up the under eye area. And I usually go in with a little bit of a darker color on blemishes, but usually on travel days, I'm also running out the door. So we're just using the same shade today. And I'm gonna take that same exact sponge and just blend out the concealer all over the face and under the eyes. I'm also taking what's left on the sponge and just kind of pressing that onto the eyelid to cancel out any discoloration there because I do have just some veins that show through. So I like to kind of conceal those a little bit. All right, next I'm gonna set the face. I love to use this powder on days like this. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. And the reason why I love this is because it's a hydrating powder, so it actually does have hyaluronic acid in it, which is something that draws moisture to the skin. And on travel days, like I said, I try to find products that are gonna have that balance between making sure my skin doesn't get oily, but also doesn't dry out the skin. And this powder is perfect for this situation. So I like to make sure that there's no creases underneath the eyes. And I'm just gonna take a brush and press this under the eyes to set the concealer. It also does a great job at smoothing out the skin. I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but it's just a nice foolproof powder that wears well on the skin. It's never uncomfortable or too drying. It's smoothing, makes the skin look flawless. I don't know. It's just a reliable little powder, so I do tend to travel with this one. I like to take the smaller brush and press it around the T-zone because that's where I personally get oily. I have combination skin. So this area right here, just the T-zone, really is the first place that kind of gets oily. So I like to make sure to press powder there. And then I'm gonna take a bit of a larger brush and I'm gonna use that to set the rest of the face. I also make sure to put a little powder on the eyelids just to set the concealer that we applied there earlier. All right, so now that the complexion is done, well, it's not done, but you know, it's set. We're gonna go ahead and use this right here. I have fallen in love with this all over again. This is definitely not a new product. It's actually pretty old to my collection, but when I travel, I reach for face palettes. I like something that's gonna kind of be multitasking so that if I'm taking it on the plane with me, there's a lot of options with the palette. So I have a few face palettes that I've been reaching for and loving. I love the one from Hourglass. There's also some from the drugstore that I really like, but this one, for some reason, I almost forgot about. And I recently picked this back up again and it is so good and so so perfect for looks like this. This is the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. Look at this. You get a contour shade, a highlight shade, two highlighters, a bronzer, and a blush. So basically your entire look is in one palette. And when I travel, I like to use the bronzers that I'm using and the blush and the highlighter on the eyes. So I've been reaching for this palette again and it's beautiful and I'm just really excited about it all over again. So I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and I'm gonna dip into the contour shade first. If I'm short on time, I'll just mix the contour and bronzer shade and just double it up. But I'll show you how I normally use the shades separately. I like to focus the contour shade right underneath the cheekbones and you'll notice it's more of a cool tone color so it's gonna create a little bit of a shadow. I also like to put a bit on the sides of the forehead. I like to put some right here. I just find that creating a shadow there kind of makes your cheekbones look higher. I'll take what's left on the brush and run it down the sides of the nose a bit, a little bit under the lip, and a little bit right here. Just what's left on the brush right here on the neck. All right, I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna dip into the bronzer shade. And this, I like to kind of sculpt the cheeks with again, but I do put it a little higher than the contour shade was initially. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of move my hair as well. And this is where you really wanna add warmth to the complexion. So the cooler tone kind of shapes out the face. This adds warmth back into the skin. So I like to layer the two because then you get the shape, but then you look healthy as well when you apply the bronzer. So I'm just gonna keep applying this to the forehead. Same thing on the cheeks, just a little bit higher than the contour. I'm gonna put a little under the lip and then a little bit along the jawline here just to warm that up. And then I'm gonna take the rest down the neck. I'm gonna take the brush that we used for powder and I'm just gonna buff over everything just to make sure there's no harsh lines. We don't want that, even though we're contouring and bronzing, we do not want stripes on the face. We wanna look like, you know, we're going on vacation or perhaps we're coming home from vacation and we just look healthy and glowy. So I'm just taking that same brush again and just kind of dusting over everything one more time. I didn't dip back into the pan, by the way. This is just the brush with no extra product on it. Okay, I'm gonna take this top highlight shade, which sometimes can be a little too dark for me, especially since it's like winter right now. Yeah, it's just slightly too dark. Good thing I'm going to Mexico, so hopefully on the way home it will be okay. I'm just going to apply that anyway, just to even out the cheeks really quickly. I'm just gonna put a bit of that highlighter down the center of the face as well. And I'm gonna run it right here on the brows just to kind of highlight that. Okay, I love to take this shade right here, which is like a highlighting, almost banana powder. And I love to apply this underneath the eyes. 
it adds a luminosity and a brightness and I love this because it just makes me look more awake and I don't know about you guys but if you're traveling and you're waking up really early sometimes you don't look too awake so I like to apply this down the center of the face as well just to kind of brighten that but especially underneath the eye area and it doesn't look heavy under the eyes either which I love it's such a good powder, so I'm just gonna brighten everything up a little bit. I'm just taking my bronzer brush and making sure that the cheeks didn't lose that shape. And now, we're gonna dip into the blush. Just in that same exact Smashbox palette, I'm gonna smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks, blending it backward over top of the bronzer and the highlighter. It's just a really good blush color too. Like, it doesn't look like too much in my opinion. It's not too bright, but it's bright enough to give life back to the skin. I just really like it. I'm gonna take that powder brush one more time and just make sure everything's buffed together. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and dip into the contour shade, and I'm gonna start to shape this out. I'm just applying this through the crease. And the cool thing is too, since you've used it on the face, I like to kind of drag it into this area here and even down the nose slightly just to add more shape there. And I also like to apply that shade on the lower lash line. Okay, before we continue with the eyeshadow, I've got to put eyebrows on because it's driving me crazy. I usually like to do my base first though when I'm doing a simple eye look, but I'm just so used to seeing my brows on when I'm doing my eyeshadow that I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brows now. I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyebrow Liner. I love how long wearing this is, and for me, my brows are pretty non-existent. So when I travel especially, I need a pencil that's going to last a very long time in the brows, and this one does it for me. I absolutely love this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start to fill in the brows using this pencil. Okay, brows are on. I love this brow pencil. Let's move back to the eyes now. I'm just gonna take the same exact brush Honestly, this is what I do on a lazy morning where I'm getting ready to travel. I don't really usually have time to go all out, but I do want something on the eyes just to make myself look alive and awake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the bronzer shade more on the outer portion of the eye, blending it into the crease, and then I'm taking what's left on the brush and just dusting that underneath the outer third of the lower lash line really quick. I also like to take a little bit of blush and pop that through the crease. I'm using a bit of a lighter hand for this, but I just love having a bit of pink there. And you know what? I'll even add a bit on this lower lash line right here. I'm not being too precise or anything. Okay, I'm gonna take the bottom highlighter shade, which is too dark for my face, but it's amazing for eyeshadow. And I'm just taking that same exact brush and I'm just applying this all over the lids. If you're running short on time, you could totally just put bronzer all over the lids and not bother doing any shimmer shades, but I'm just showing you guys, you know, in a perfect world, if I'm not late and if I wanna look a little bit more put together or if I have to look put together where I'm going, this is what I will do, okay? Then I'm gonna take the highlighter shade that we used on the face and I'm gonna use that in the inner corner and underneath the brow just to highlight that a bit. And you guys know me with my inner crease highlighter. I'm just gonna take what's left and kind of scoop that around. Even with an everyday look, I feel like this trick really helps to open up the eyes. So I'm just gonna scoop it around like this. See? I don't know, I just really like how that looks. All right, for mascara, I know I've been using kind of a lot of Thrive Cosmetics, but honestly, these products are super reliable and this is my favorite mascara to travel with because no matter what the weather is, no matter how long my travel day is, this will stay on my lashes, look amazing, and then it's not too hard to remove. I hate waterproof mascaras, um, so I prefer something that's gonna be really long wearing and that I know is not gonna smudge or flake at all, but I don't want it to be waterproof and this is like the perfect one for that. This is the Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions mascara and I love wearing this when I travel like 99.9% .9 of the time when you guys see me travel I'm wearing this mascara I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this to the lashes I like to do one eye at a time usually and this is a tubing mascara so it takes a minute to get used to it's a different kind of formula I find that if I blink into the brush with this it really helps to build the formula up on itself and it will help to lengthen and volumize. You don't wanna let it dry before you start layering up, otherwise it can clump up a little bit more. I personally don't mind when lashes clump together, but to avoid excessive clumping, this is what I normally do. I'll just blink right into the brush and I let the mascara do all the work. And I also like to build it on the lower lashes as well. Look at the difference between lashes. This is seriously amazing. Also, I bent the brush of mine and I just feel like it helps to kind of get right up against the lash line. So that's why my brush is a little bit tilted. The brush doesn't come like that. I purposefully bent it a little bit and I actually love it like that. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye, just blinking into the brush and slowly building it up. I don't dip back into the tube. There's plenty of product on the brush to just keep building. So I just continue to blink into the brush and then I lightly touch the lower lashes and I do the same thing where I kind of work with the lash and just let the mascara do all the work and build on itself. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips and this is honestly the hard part picking a lip product because I have so many I love. On airplanes, I do tend to reach for lip balms. So sometimes I will apply this before I go on an airplane. So I'll just put this on before I head out the door. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I know it's a night mask, but I wear it in the daytime all the time and it's great. I don't necessarily carry this in my travel bag though because you have to put your fingers inside to get the product and I just don't feel like that's always sanitary or convenient when I'm like actually at the airport. So sometimes I'll start off with this. I also love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This is also a sleep mask that I like to use at night. This particular one is the lavender version. I personally feel like the original is the best out of the ones I've tried so far, but I'm just trying to go through this, so sometimes I will throw that on if I need something extra hydrating. And this is a good example of something that I would take with me on the plane because it's just a little bit easier to use. I absolutely love this though. This is a great combination between a lip balm and a gloss. This is the Laneige Grapefruit lip glowy balm. They have a few different flavors and this is an amazing one that stays in my pocket or my purse. If I don't want my lips to be sticky but I want them to shine like a gloss but I need the hydration, this is my go-to. Of course we have the classic Glossier lip glosses if I just want a bunch of shine and if my hair is back or I'm wearing a hat or something like that. Sometimes I like to have a little bit more shine to the lips. This is something that's not going to really um, hydrate the lips. They don't dry them out but they're not going to be like a lip balm effect so it just depends on what you're going for but I do reach for those quite a bit when I travel. I also love the lip balm from NARS. This is just the plain one. They have tinted ones as well. These are the Afterglow lip balms. These live in my purse. They're something that I can just throw on without looking in a mirror and they're gonna look good, especially the tinted ones. So that's a really great option as well. I know I'm kind of talking fast, but I honestly have a lot to share with you guys. So I also love the oil infused lip tints from NARS. This is also a formula where I just feel like I can throw it on my lips. It's gonna make my lips look really good. It's gonna tint them a little bit. Um, but I don't need a mirror to make sure the lip lines are precise, so I do love that. There's also this clear gloss from Smashbox, the Gloss Angeles Extra Shine Gloss. Whew, that was a mouthful, but those are kind of the ones that I usually reach for when I travel. It honestly just depends on my mood. For the purpose of today's video, I can't decide between these two. I really love this, and this is something that I would probably throw in my purse, but I feel like doing something a little bit more glamorous, I guess, since this video is a little bit more on like the glamorous end of a natural makeup look with the shimmer on the eyes. I know it's not glamorous, it's still very wearable, but I think I'm gonna use this um, red lip gloss from Glossier. It looks daunting in the tube, but it's actually, but when you apply it, it actually just kind of tints your lips and makes it look like a really pretty pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. See how it just tints the lips a little bit? I really like the color of it, so I wanted to wear that one today. But say I were headed to the airport today, I probably would um, apply this and then put this in my bag or in my pocket so that I could reach for it quite a bit because my lips do tend to get dry on airplanes. Okay, before we lock things in, we're just going to assess the situation. I'm just taking my bronzer brush and I didn't dip it back into the pan, but I'm just kind of adding a little more to the forehead as usual. I'm gonna take what's left on the blush brush and kind of add that to the cheeks again. Blush is the first thing that fades, so I usually kind of apply a little bit extra before I head out. Okay, now I am dipping back into the pan and adding a little more, and I just feel like that makes my skin look really fresh and youthful, so alrighty. We're ready to set the face. I always go for the Urban Decay All Nighter. I just need my makeup to last through everything, so this is what we're going to apply. I'm gonna spritz it all over the skin. Oh dear, we got a big splotch. Dang it. Hopefully it won't ruin the makeup. I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit. And then once things are almost dry, I like to take my sponge and just press everything down into the skin. It seems like the dots are fading, right? Once they dry, yes, hopefully. All right, last but not least, we're gonna set the brows. I've been loving this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. But I'm just gonna run this through the brows. 
And once there's some product in there, I like to take my finger and just kind of press the brows down to the skin. I love a good feathery brow for a travel day, you know? Okay, I usually like to leave my skin looking like this. It's not as dewy as I normally go. But again, when I travel for some reason, maybe it's because I'm running through the airport or something, but my skin tends to get a little bit more oily. So on travel days, I like to leave it slightly more matte than what I normally do just to make sure everything is gonna stay in place and then once my skin starts getting oily, it doesn't look too shiny. I'm just taking what's left on the powder brush and kind of adding extra powder to the T-zone just to make sure. I almost always forget to check for mascara marks. Luckily, this mascara really does a good job at coming off the eyelid, it does not stick. So I'm just taking my brush, kind of dusting off any mascara marks that are on the lids. I can't tell you how many times I've gone all day with mascara everywhere because I just forget to wipe it off. All right, you guys, so that completes this full face of nothing new. I know a lot of these products were high end, but honestly, I just wanted to show you guys a typical routine for me when I do travel. And these are honestly just my go-to ride or die reliable products that for me can go from everyday makeup to glam makeup, which is why I like to pack products like this. So I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed the final look. I know it's nothing revolutionary, but this is what I feel confident in traveling and it lasts all day on my skin no matter what. My face feels nice and protected because of our sunscreen and a nice foundation that's also going to help protect the skin. So yeah, this is basically my travel makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for today. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, head over there and follow me because I'm sure I'm posting about everything that we're up to in Mexico, which is so much fun. I can't believe when this goes up, I will already be on that trip. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.